Hello everyone today we are looking into MCQs for architectural terms and their meaning and have high probability of appearing in NATA JWBR NID and SEED usually there'll be an image with question and four options and one of them will be the right answer so let's start with the first question that is what is a device of stone wood or metal that projects from or overhangs a wall to carry a weight and the options are cornice bond bracket and pitch and the right answer if you look at the picture is bracket moving on to the next question a round or eye like opening or design if you can look at the image at the left hand side corner and the options are melon mitten sill and oculus and the right answer is oculus moving on to the next question an architectural ornament originally forming the cap or crown of a buttress or small turret but afterwards used on parapet at the corners of towers and in many other situations and the options are pinnacle pediment porch and veranda and looking at the image of the left hand side the right answer is pinnacle as they are marked in the image moving on to the next question that is a roof having only one sloping plane and no hips ribs and valleys and the options are eave pitch shed roof and gambrel roof and the right answer is shed roof moving on to the next question that is a two sided symmetrical roof that has two slopes on each side the lower slope is steeper and the upper slope is positioned at a shallow angle and the options are facade canopy gabled roof shed roof if you can see in the image and the right answer is gabled roof Moving on to the next question that is a roof which has four sloping sides each of which becomes steeper halfway down and the options are gabled roof heap roof shed roof and mansard roof if you can see in the image at the left hand side corner with the last three questions and their descriptions you must have understood the difference between gabled roof heap roof shed roof and mansard roof Moving on to the next question that is a horizontal support of timber stone concrete or steel across the top of a door or window and the options are gable heap roof porch and lintel so looking at the image the right answer is lintel moving on to the next question an arched window flanked by two smaller non arched windows and the options are peladen window bay window flank window and side light so looking at the image right above the answer is peladen window moving on to the next question an overhead roof structure that has open sides and the options are canopy facade lintel veranda like you can see in the image above the right answer is canopy for more architectural terms you can check the video linked above or in the description box moving on to the next question window that protrudes from the surface of a wall and the options are turret bay window side window and palladian window so the right answer is bay window moving on to the next question a small room of the roof of a house used as a lookout a car windows walk and the options are belvedere turret palladian window and bay window so the right answer is belvedere moving on to the next question that is construction material made of aggregates a binder and water used as a decorative coating for walls and ceiling and as a sculptural and artistic material in architecture and the options are cornice fluting stucco and motif so looking at the image above and the description the right answer is stucco moving on to the next question looking at the image a supporting pillar is called options are portico column railing and turret and the right answer is column next a covered shelter projecting in front of the entrance of a building is called options are eave porch lintel pediment and the right answer is porch like you can see in the image moving on to the next question decorative architectural term located at the top of a wall near a roof or ceiling and the options are veranda lintel cornice and stucco and the right answer is cornice if you can see in the image above 
also the images shown in the examination are really tiny and sometimes blurred so make sure you are prepared for that next this picture is an example of what type of greek architecture and the options are doric ionic corinthian and marble and the right answer is doric these three orders from greek architecture that is doric ionic corinthian are very important and you should know to differentiate between them this is another same question that is this is an example of what type of renaissance column and the options are doric ionic corinthian and contemporary and the answer is corinthian moving on to the next question this is an example of what type of column and the options are again ionic doric corinthian neoclassical and the right answer is doric moving on to the next question that is masonry blocks at the corner of a wall some are structural providing strength for a wall made with inferior stone or rubble while others merely add aesthetic detail to a corner and the options are quince shake oculus and the right answer is quince moving on to the next question that is consists of shallow grooves running along a surface and li like you can see in the image they are talking about the grooves and the options are crobel quince cupolo fluting and the right answer is fluting moving on to the next question a word for long thin boards used to cover walls and roofs of buildings and the options are bond gable cornice clapboard and the right answer is clapboard next a double hung window has two stacked movable sashes the part of the window that holds the pane this allows the window to slide down from the top and up from the bottom meaning both sashes can open at the same time and the options are oculus bay window transom and double hung window and the right answer is double hung window moving on a type of roof where all sides slope downwards to the walls usually like with a fairly gentle slope and the options are shed roof lintel pediment and heap roof and the right answer is heap roof next question an entrance porch with columns and a roof and the options are fan light portico belvedere and turret and the right answer is portico moving on to the next question a face of a building especially the principal front that looks in onto a street or open space and the options are facade canopy eave lintel and the right answer is facade facade means the front elevation of any building moving ahead uh, the perpendicular window located in a sloping roof and the options are gingerbread domer turret and portico and the right answer is domer window like you can see in the image above moving ahead the triangular upper part of the front of a building is classical style typically for mounting a portico of columns and the options are belvedere domer eave pediment and the right answer is pediment next a narrow window position over a doorway and the options are top light door light transom light and air light and the right answer is transom light as you can see at the top of the door next semi circular window found over entrance doors or windows and the options are door light transom light side light fan light very similar questions and here it is called as fan light as you can see in the above fan like element next projecting edge of a roof that overhangs an exterior wall and the options are a dental cornice gingerbread and fan light and the right answer is eave next fixed window position to the side of a doorway and the options are transom side light fan light door and these are all very similar type of questions with different options and the answer is side light Moving on to the next question forms the topmost member of a column it is between the column and the load resting down upon it bordering the area of the column supporting surface and the options are fluting cornice capital belt course 
and the right answer is the topmost part is called as capital moving to the next question relatively small most often dome like tall structures on top of a building often used to provide a look out or to admit light and air it usually crowns a larger roof or dome the options are corbel dental fan light cupola and the right answer is called cupola with this we come to the end of the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button as we are going to upload many more such videos thank you bye